Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the progress bar. The progress bar is really great if you've got a study with lots and lots of trials and you want to kind of give your participants a sense of where they are in your study. Again, super great if you've got hundreds of trials or even 20 trials and you feel like the participant needs some motivation to keep moving to see where they're at. So the progress bar can be found in the buttons and navigation elements menu and it is the last one here. So when I click on it, this is what it looks like by default. You can drag it anywhere on the canvas frame or it'll be um, vertically aligned on a page frame. So what you can see here is our usual object properties. And again, that video is linked in the top right corner here for the general object properties. And if we scroll down, we see that there are some special properties for the progress bar. So for progress type, that's what you can see right here. You can do fixed or you can use a variable. So fixed is going to be that I click on this and I set it. Um, for each of my trials, which, you know, not as recommended. What we do suggest you do is use a variable to kind of set what the progress bar is going to show. I can also change if I want to show the percentage or not. So if you don't show the percentage, it'll just show a colored bar with no numbers. If you do show, it'll say 0, 10, etc. however much percent they are through the study. So let's walk through how to use a variable to kind of set up this progress bar. First, um, you need to notice here that the value of the variable needs to be between 0 and 100. That is because our progress bar, of course, goes from 0% to 100%. Now, let's say I have a study that has 100 trials in it. To set up my progress bar, all I have to do is click this link button here for variables, go to global variables, and click trial number. And the reason I can do that so easily and have my progress bar just advance percentages through the trials is because I have exactly 100 trials in my study. So every trial, the progress bar will advance by 1%. Now, let's say you only have 10 trials in your study. What happens when I click play on this study is that the progress bar is going to go 1%, 2%, all the way through 10%, and then that'll be the end of the progress bar because that's all the trials I have defined because all I've done is linked trial number. So here's what we're going to have to do here. We're going to have to convert these 10 trials into a sort of percentage value. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to create a new variable and we're going to call this progress. Okay, it's going to be a numeric variable and we do not want it to reset at trial start because what we're going to do is we're going to set up an equation. Okay, so we just need the final value only. So we have our progress variable. It is numeric and it's not going to reset at trial start. Okay. So now this is the variable that's linked to our progress bar. So let's go ahead and set up the events that are going to calculate the percent of our progress. So we're going to call this event progress percent. And the trigger here is going to be on frame start. Okay, this is the first frame of my trial. In the sample study, it is the only frame of my trial. So it is pretty simple to set up. So on frame start, what we need to do is we need to convert the trial number into our progress percentage. Okay, so it's going to be a variable action. And we are going to set progress equals, and then it is going to be an arithmetic operation. And all we need to do is multiply trial number times 10. So this is going to be a constant numeric value times 10. Okay. So now for my first trial, when I start this frame, my trial number one times 10 is going to be 10% finished. And the same as when I get to trial number five, I'm 50% of the way through the study because I only have 10 trials. Okay. 
So progress is trial number times 10. And this works for any trial number you have. So if you have 20 trials, if you have 30 trials, you just need to somehow get that to equal 100% at the end. So you set up a simple arithmetic operation and your progress bar will advance. So let me show you what that looks like here. I will go ahead and do a test run. I had a camera element earlier in the study, but this one does not. Okay. So here's my progress bar. This is trial number one, so I'm 10% of the way through. And as I advance in my study, I advance 10% each time, and then I'm finished. Okay. So again, all you have to do is set up a simple arithmetic event that is going to record a variable as some number out of 100, and then link it to your progress bar. All right. So that's how you use the progress bar, and I hope this video was helpful.